Hey guys, so I am back and I've kind of sorted through all the goodies and things that Jenny sent me and I think I am going to make a pocket letter um, just because they're really fun and I enjoy them and the small sizes of cards are like easy for me. Um, so but there was a lot of colors in this collection which I absolutely love but I think it'll be easier for me to make a cohesive looking project in a smaller amount of time if I just kind of zoomed in and focused on two colors. So I'm going to be working with the pinks and yellows. So I pulled a couple of the journaling cards and then a few of the papers. So I picked the flowers, the larger flowers, the pink clouds, the little phrases. There are little bits of this like tealy blue, but that's fine. I don't mind a little bit of other colors. Just having two main colors though really helps me kind of get stuff done. So these are the papers. So I'm going to start cutting these down and then figuring out what I want to do. Um, I did also pull out these embellishments that she sent me. So there's some pinks and yellows in there. I think these might work. These will come in perfect because there's like the pink and then kind of yellow color. So it'll be great. I can use the pinks from here. And then she sent me yellow alphas and then some of these might work as well. So let's go ahead and get started on some of these. So I'm just gonna trim down my cards. My little mini paper trimmer guy thingy jiggy. Okay, so off screen, I went ahead and pre-planned out my pocket letters. So this is what I normally do. I will normally go through all the papers and kind of arrange the embellishments and ephemera kind of where I think I want them. I don't typically show this process in my YouTube videos. Um, one, cause it just, I don't know, I feel more pressure to do it even faster than I normally do. And I, and at that point, I feel like my projects don't come out as nice. And then two, I just, I find it kind of personally <laughs> kind of boring to edit and then rewatch. If you are interested in seeing like actually how I make decisions and why, um, I believe some of my videos do have that information, especially like my beginning pocket letter video. I believe that one does as well as my classes. If you guys are interested in checking those out, I will leave links down below, but let's go ahead and get started. So what I normally do is I'll do all this kind of stuff off screen and then we will go card by card and finish them up together. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in, move this off to the side. Cause that's, that's how I do what I do. So I think I'm going to start down at the bottom just so I don't accidentally knock stuff off. So I was thinking for this one, Jenny included a whole bunch of labels and things. And I thought maybe I could make like my own little pattern and put some little phrases in here that my pen pal might enjoy. So let's get this going. So I'm just going to be using the Tombow Permanent Adhesive Plus for this project. Also though, I don't want to forget about, um, the washi samples that she gave me. So she gave me these washi stickers and then I pulled these two from the embellishment box. So I'm actually gonna put these right up here at the front so I don't forget about them. And then I remember to use them, which would be good. Cause that's the whole point of using all the things. So I want these little labels to kind of Go off the side of the card a little bit, but not crazy, crazy. I'm just kind of making my own little label pattern here, which I think is fun. And then I know that I want this tab here, but I also want the flowers. So I think I'm gonna let the flowers go this way. And I think they're supposed to actually go like this way, but I didn't really plan it to go that way. <laughs> oh, cause I'm terrible, terrible, terrible. So I'm just gonna do them this way and it will be fine. Okay, 
So I have that going. Actually, I'm gonna move this one over a little bit more. So it's like that, so you don't see like this funky little bit kind of there. That that would bother me. So I'm gonna trim that off. Here we go. Then I think I'm gonna set this aside and finish it because I'm not sure what phrases I want to put on there yet. So let's go ahead and work on this one. So this one is just really simple. This was a Project Life card. So I'm just going to pop some little hearts on here because I think that'd be really cute. So these were in the embellishment box. So I've got those. And then I might go back in with like these puffy things in a little bit to kind of get all my cards situated. I think I might want them. So this is a really pretty die cut piece that I think is lovely. Um, then I wanted to put a little tag on here, maybe this little flower, and maybe the heart. I feel like that's kind of a lot going on. Let's see. That's really cute on there. Maybe I could use a slightly smaller heart. That's adorable. Okay, so let's do this, because this is gonna be kind of a little running motif, these little like leather looking hearts. So I'm just gonna use, how do I want it? I'm gonna use my little Tim Holtz stapler. Just staple that on. Let me put the flower back over here. I believe the adhesive should work. Yeah. Do something like that. And I don't know if um, Jenny die cut this little doily herself or if it was came in a set or something. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. So I think that will just go in there and then if my pen pal wants to reuse the tag, they can. Okay, so for this one, I want to layer up some of these little die cuts that Jenny sent. So there's this little summertime flag, which is really adorable. I think actually I might use, um, I might use my little decorative scissors here on this floral piece. Uh, I don't want to do it. I gotta turn this way. Okay. <laughs> I get so confused. So I picked these up at one of my local scrapbook stores. They're on sale. They're probably not the best quality, but I don't need a ton of decorative scissors. And it's not something that I use often enough where I feel like I would need to invest in a really good pair of them. If that makes sense. So I'm just trimming this down. So it's more of like a decorative border. Also, I didn't need that piece of paper to be quite as large, so. There we go. It'll fit a little bit nicer Make sure the summertime. I think maybe I could actually put like the summertime on the outside of the pockets. So maybe we'll do that. And then I wanted to oh, and then I wanted to layer up some of these little flower guys because I think they'd be really cute. I'm going to bump them up a little bit because if this goes on the outside, I want the flowers to still show, not be completely covered up. Okay, for the next one, I wanted to make a little shaker pocket, but I don't want to pull out my fuse um, because I really like it when my pen pals can like reuse the things. So give this mix a shake. And this was included in the embellishment 
box that Jenny sent me. And then I have these little mini plastic baggies that will fit really nicely inside of a pocket letter pocket. Yeah, so this will fit really nicely inside of the pocket. And I don't have to worry about fusing it or anything like that. The mix already matches. So I'm just gonna share some of this. Maybe about like, I don't know, about half maybe. Like that. And then I have a cute little shaker that my pen pal can reuse, essentially. So see, it gives kind of the same effect, but then you don't have to like, add a bunch of stuff to it and worry about it. So see so you doing either the yellow or the floral. I feel like the yellow will stand out more. So I'm just gonna fold this in half. And then I'm going to trim off the excess over here. That. And then this hangs down pretty low, so I'm actually going to take my decorative scissors again and make this kind of a matching deal. So here I have this, and then I think I'm just going to use the adhesive. Actually, I want to do the same little heart thing here, I think, is what I want to do. So let me go ahead and do that before I do anything else. So I'm just going to staple that on, and then I'm going to use just this Tombow adhesive. That way this paper piece comes off easily. And you just kind of pop that in the middle. Fold it over, and you have a really cute little doodad, and that kind of decorates that pocket a little bit. For this card, I wanted to have these three arrows that Jenny included. I think that'd be kind of cute, and also because I want to use, I'm not sure where it went now, um, there's a pink like arrow one of these paper clippy things. So I want to make sure to use one of those too. So I want these to cross. Maybe like that. And then I want the yellow one to go right in the middle. Okay, and then I was thinking of having this little label kind of come across. And again, like one of these pink stickers might look cute, but I'm afraid it'll get kind of lost. It's kind of big. So why don't we just put the label on? I think that'll be fine. Then maybe I could put like my pen pal's name on there or something. That's cute. Or I could center it. then you wouldn't get the cute little page flaggy things. It would just be like a strip, and I don't want just a strip. We'll just scooch it over a little bit. Okay, so we've got that guy. And here 
there's this little dude. So we could do kind of something similar. Let me do that. We can do something similar with the little heart tag. That would be cute. Although I have some other colors here. mirroring that doily card that we made earlier. That's pretty like on a corner. How'd that look? It look kind of odd, I feel like. So I realized I'm not using any washi tapes for some reason. I'm not sure why. to use some washi tapes because they're too cute not to. So I'm going to use some of this yellow. a little pocket out of this floral paper. Just using some of that Tombow adhesive again. Go. And I'm just going to trim off the extra here on the side. And then I wanted to put this little, whatever, die cut, kind of overlapping a little bit, like so. And then in here we'll go a bunch of these tags that I made. Just kind of finish using them up, plus they're pretty cute. Those will go in there, become that card. And then for this last card, I wanted to do all the hearts. So I think, yeah, okay, so I can, I can do all the hearts. So I'm gonna start with one right in the center and then build out from there, I think. All right, so this is what this looks like. So I wound up cutting down <laughs> one of the little hearts to be a little teeny tiny one and then these two here at the bottom I just used some of the Tombow adhesive to glue those down so hopefully those will stay put put the other ones away and then I'm just going to trim off all the excess and hopefully we'll be left with a really fun textural heart pattern paper situation Alright, so that is what we've got. And I think that is so fun. I think that is amazing. I love this so much. <laughs> Alright, so that is that card. And so let's go ahead and start, I guess, adding the finishing touches. So I do want to add some washi tape to this card because I feel like this would be a really good card to be able to add some washi tape to. That would help kind of fill it up a little bit more as well. And then there's this really cute pink and orange, so I'm going to use a couple of these too. I think 
they would tie in okay. Or I also have this floral, but this one has a lot more blue in it. I'm trying to keep things a bit more pinky, yellowy. Okay. These little, what are these bobbin things are so cute. gonna do something like that I think and I will dress that up a little bit more as you can see all right so at this point let's go ahead and put some finishing touches on things so I know I want to use this I know this thing has to happen and then I have this arrow paper clip as well so I've got these hearts And some of these jummies, which are really cute. I might try to share some of these in the pocket letter. So I'm gonna try to go for just the outside edges. And I don't know if we can, we can probably get away with maybe one or two of these. We do that. And then I also have my alphas here. These crazy guys. what we're looking at right now. Let's see. Everything. You're so sweet. You gave me a toothache. What? That's amazing. We're gonna go for that. That's really cute. So I'm thinking maybe that one would be cute up here. on here one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so I could put like a pink heart on each of these two okay what do I want to put down here I'm thinking my pen pal's name I can fit in over here on this card these yellow alpha so I'll probably save that and do that off screen that way it's a surprise sweet as super duper sweet kind hearted spectacular and then what should I put here Maybe I'll cut up this one, this live in the moment. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, um, any of these puffy stickers? I'm gonna zoom you guys out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Sorry about that. All right, so maybe this yellow arrow would be cute there. Make fun stuff. on here that'd be cute okay 
Okay, and this one, what do I want to do here? Hello. Okay, so there's no hello on here. Because I wanted like some more words to go around. I'm not sure what to do. But just like, oh, so sweet. It's fine. Sweet. Lovable, sweet and lovable, why not? Okay, so got that going. So you're doing like an orange. I'll do there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide these in here because I figure these are pretty much done now. do here. I think I'm just leaving the shaker one kind of plain. There's that. This one will have this over top. Okay. So we'll go back there. What do I want to put here in the center? Do I want to put anything? Let me just leave this one kind of as is, because if I share some of the jummies, I might slide them in there. And I can always add some word phrases or something. Okay, so this one, I want her name to be on it. I would also like to add some little hearts or something. Kind of cute. This one, I just want to keep it as is, because it's so pretty as it is. I love that pattern. I think it's really fun. Okay, so for this one, maybe a heart, since it says Grateful Hearts. Maybe that, maybe a little pink gem. This one is like the last one. Okay, so that is what that looks like. Kind of wish this wasn't moving around so much. put there. So I'm going to trim this down and share some of these gems. Let me put them in here. Put them up there, but I don't want to. That's really fun. So the OMG. Go like that. I'm thinking maybe one of the arrows I can put over here somewhere. I 
All right, so let me go ahead and add some washi tape here on the side. I'm thinking I'm just gonna use the yellow again. all very bright on this side. <laughs> okay. So that is what that looks like. I think this is so pretty. It's so fun. Alright, so what do I want to do with these arrows? Because I really want to add some in here. It'll help kind of tie everything together. You want to add any of these? Um, I kind of feel like I don't really need to. Get the heart up here. The heart up there. This kind of needs something, but I don't know what to put there. So I'm just gonna leave it. Joy. And there's like another arrow. Kind of fun to put there. Not any of these. This flower one's really pretty. So that is my finished pocket letter. I hope that you guys enjoyed this process video. Thank you so much, Jenny, for sending me all these really fun supplies to work with. It was so much fun to swap with you. And I hope that you enjoyed everything that I sent your way. And I can't wait to see what you create out of it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely make sure to check out Jenny's channel. I will leave a link to it down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And please consider joining my crafty club over on Patreon. The folks over there get exclusive behind the scenes content and videos, live streams, happy mail, and so much more. And if I can reach my main goal on there, I can do a video every single day here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.